Hi everyone, how are you? Joel from Queens here. Time for another shave video. I'm wearing my one of my shaving uh, t-shirts here. Tells everybody out there a uh, proper way to shave. Mixing up a little uh, shave cream here. And we're going to do today what's called a Brooklyn shave. We, we took a trip earlier this week to Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. There's no place uh, quite like it anywhere else. I don't know, out of all the five boroughs, I think Brooklyn has has the most flavor to it. So we had a flavorful visit uh, in Brooklyn earlier this week. I'm gonna show you some uh, some pictures of uh, my trip. And we stopped at a, a very famous uh, restaurant that's been there since I think 19, 1930s. Uh, it's called Junior's. Now I didn't name my son after the restaurant. His, his real name isn't Junior, but I didn't, I didn't name him after. But it's called Junior's Restaurant. They also opened up uh, another location in Manhattan. But this is the original Junior's Restaurant in Brooklyn. It's on uh, the Flatbush Avenue extension, and it's in the downtown Brooklyn area. And it's quite a unique area. So uh, we made a little trip there this week. We had a, a nice meal, topped it off with a nice dessert. And now we're gonna do a, a Brooklyn shave. So we're, we're uh, getting our shave cream ready here. We have an old shave brush here. This is a uh, rubber set, rubber set 100. I believe it's a boar brush, small brush, old brush. But uh, we're lathering that up. And our uh, razor for today it was made in Brooklyn, New York, just a few blocks away from the restaurant where, where I ate this week in downtown Brooklyn. Uh, this was called the Cooper Razor Company. And they made these lovely razors. They're famous for this uh, nut. Not, it looks like a nut, but it's just uh, shaped like a nut. The edge of the razor is just for decoration. But I think anytime you see that, you know, you know it's a Koopa. And they also make blades over at Koopa. They make blades, but we're not going to use uh, the blade today. We're just going to use the razor. This is a Brooklyn made razor for a Brooklyn shave. Uh, today's razor, we're going to use uh, razor blade rather. We're gonna use a, a Gillette. This is a Gillette uh, Super Thin Platinum. And I believe it was made in Vietnam. So, uh, there we go. So this was made in Vietnam, I believe, as I drop it. And uh, we're gonna open it up. Oh, they even have printing on the inside of it, look at that. And it's double wrapped. Got a picture of King Gillette on the front. So let's open it up. We have our Gillette Super Thin Blade. And we're gonna put that into our Cooper razor, made in Brooklyn, New York. So let's take out our Cooper here. Here's our Cooper top. It's an open comb. So we're gonna load our Gillette blade into it. Let's see if we can get that in there. There we are. It's a little rough. So let's close it up. Put that in there. Take our Cooper handle. And then we'll tighten it down. There we are. There we are. Nice open comb. Brooklyn razor. And there's that famous end to it. It's open in the end. But it's it's not made out of uh, anything uh, expensive. It's, it's made inexpensively. And I believe it's from the 1930s and 1940s. But uh, it'll last a lifetime. There we are. All right. So we have our palm olive menthol for our shave cream for today. So we're in the process of Mixing it up. I just came out of the shower. I have about a two day growth. So, let's see how Cooper does. Here we go, nice meringue like uh, lather. And here we go. I can smell the menthol. A little palm olive. There we are. Ready for our first pass. Let's 
wet down our Koopa, and we're ready to go. Fairly aggressive. I can feel that blade. And I'm sure you can hear the audio feedback of the blade. So we're going to use no pressure whatsoever. As we shave, our Brooklyn shave, had a very nice uh, time in Brooklyn. Nice meal at Junior's. I started off with a relish tray. They give you a relish tray with some beets, some pickles, some coleslaw. And I, of course, had some matzo ball soup in a Junior's mug. They sell those mugs there, too. Well, I started with my soup. And then I went on to my sandwich, which was a corned beef pastrami combo. On rye, and instead of mustard, we used uh, Russian dressing. I was in a Russian dressing kind of mood. Delicious sandwich. Here's our first pass with our Cooper, made in Brooklyn. It was on York Street in Brooklyn, which is just a few blocks from Judy's. And then it was time for dessert. So for dessert, we topped it off with a delicious strawberry cheesecake over there at Junior's. Now there's two types of cheesecake. There's the uh, New York style, which is made with cream cheese. And there's an Italian style, which is made with ricotta cheese, or as they say in Brooklyn, ragot. But Junior's has the, uh, the cream cheese style, very creamy. Quite delicious. This is the world famous cheesecake. You can't get it anywhere. This is Junior's in Brooklyn. We're gonna have a Brooklyn shave. Try this. What do you think? <laughs> Looks good, huh? And of course, sitting in Junior's, Surrounded by pictures and memorabilia hanging up. They had a piece of Ebbets Field where the Brooklyn Dodgers used to play. They had a piece of that hanging up. Pictures of some of the old, uh, let me go across the right now. Pictures of the old Brooklyn Dodgers, old Brooklyn, New York. A lot of famous people have eaten there. And tourists come there from all over the world for their food and their cheesecake. I know recently, a tourist from Washington, D.C. stopped by to get some cheesecake to bring home to his family. That's that's how far they travel for Junior's Cheesecake. Even tourists, they come by and have to get some, bring it home. You can't come home without bringing some Junior's with you if they know you're in Brooklyn, that's for sure. Don't try going home without bringing some Junior's. Because Junior's is Brooklyn, as they say. Junior's is Brooklyn. Okay, this is our second pass. And we went across, across the grain. Let's pass two. <laughs> On the aggressive side, a Cooper. But back in the 30s and 40s in Brooklyn, men were men. There were no cartridge razors back then. They used an aggressive razor. All right, we're ready for pass three with our palm olive. I'm gonna finish up against the grain. And then I even stopped on the way back uh, to the train to come home to Long Island. Many street vendors there, so I stopped and I picked up some sweets, as they say across the pond. I picked up some sweets to bring home from one of the uh, street vendors. A very nice trip. Always an interesting trip to Brooklyn. 
A lot of fun. No place else like it. Okay, now we're going to go south to north, finish up against the grain. It's a two-day growth we started with. With our open cone cooper. Still getting the uh, audio feedback. I'm still cutting away with the uh, Gillette Thin Blade. All right. Almost there. This is our most aggressive pass. This is where we usually nick ourselves. So far, so good. Right. That's a Brooklyn shave. Forget about it. As they say in Brooklyn, forget about it. They have the interesting signs when you're coming out of in and out of Brooklyn. You know how sweet it is, like Jackie Gleason. You know, from The Honeymooners, you know, his uh, TV show, The Honeymooners, took place supposedly in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Oh, I see we have a little nickaroo. We'll see if the uh, Allen blocks it up. And forget about it, and all kinds of crazy signs. It's just fun to drive in and read the signs. Okay. That's it. Do we need any uh, pickups? No. I think that's it. That's it. We're going to rinse. Time to rinse. The hot and the cold. There's our rinse. Now we're going to do our post shave routine. Came in a nice box, too, this. Uh, Razor. See a nice brown box that it came in? She had more class back then, I'll tell you. Look at that fancy box. All the razors came in fancy, fancy boxes. All right, post shave. Let's use a little Bay Rum Constanza. This is from DR from the Dominican Republic. Strong. It's a nice, strong uh, Bay Rum. Instead of uh, witch hazel. Plain witch hazel, we're going to use this. If we had an extra aggressive shape with that open comb, so it's good to use something a little bit on the strong side. You know what? We're going to have to do a little alum. We're going to have to. There's our alum. Oh, yeah. We need the alum. Right there. There's nowhere else. Right here. All right. We'll let the alum sit for a moment. See if it did the trick. I think it did. Rinse the alum. And now for our aftershave, a splash. We picked up a little European Brutes from Europe. This is the European version of Brutes. So, uh, a little bit different than the American version. So, a little bit of the European Brute. There we go. Very nice scent to it. And to finish off, Arco, a little Arco here. This is the Arco Maximum Comfort. Arco Maximum Comfort in the orange uh, top. I'm going to use this. Very inexpensive. Love Arco products. Love Arco. There we go. That's it. That's our Brooklyn shave. Might go back and do another Brooklyn shaver, a different part of Brooklyn, if 
enough people like this one. I'm going to go back to a, another Brooklyn shave from another part of Brooklyn. So let me know. All right, so that was our shave. We used uh, a rubber set brush, an old one, with our palm olive menthol uh, shave cream in the tube. We used, let me rinse this off, I got soap on it. We used our Cooper Brooklyn made razor with a famous uh, nut like end there. I even bought some nuts on the way home. Open comb on the aggressive side. Good razor. Came in this nice box with blades by Cooper from Brooklyn, New York. And then we used some uh, Bay Rum Constanza antiseptic from Dominican Republic. And we used our alum, of course. We used our European brute. And we finished off with our Arco. Arco. And that was a Brooklyn shave. Forget about it. That's a shave. Forget about it. <laughs> so that's it for this week for this shave. We'll do another one soon. If enough people like the Brooklyn shave, I'll go back to another part of Brooklyn and do some more Brooklyn stuff. So let me know. Anyway, stay well. The best to you and yours, and we'll see you soon. Joe from Queens, after a trip to Brooklyn. Take care, all the best. Bye-bye. Brooklyn Boogie. Pretty for the people. Flatbush extension. Coney Island mm, and the Belt Parkway and the boogie for the Brooklyn. Come in, boy, Lucino. Some tones for the borough.